guys and welcome back to another video it's Cape Party here and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple platforming game in Sketch Jr. it's actually easier than you might think let's get started okay first you're gonna need a background of these obviously I'm going to choose this simple background Let's press cat right there. Good. Now, you don't have to use cat. You can use any character you want. Whether it's one that is built into Scratch Junior or a custom one. You can make a Mario or Sonic even. I don't care. Now, we're going to need some movement buttons so cat can actually move around. If there weren't any buttons, then no one could really consider this a game. Let's add some of these arrows, shall we? There we go. That looks good. Now we're going to need a jump button. go get a nice jump button so cat can leap into the air all right what's next we're going to have to code these buttons so cat will actually move when you touch them when tapped send a message of course do this for all of us just make sure they're different messages and not the same color or else Cat will turn to a bunch of things at the same time. And that would be good. There we go. Now let's go a little bit more. One message, right, left one message, and this is the hop block, but you know what, I'm going to try using it, usually I don't for these kinds of games, but let's do it. Um, by the way, guys, this is a little... No, 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 no I'm not gonna say it. Maybe I'll write it in the description. <laughs> That's something funny. Let's try using the hot block. Let's make it go slow, though. And let's make it jump a little bit higher. Oh, right. Oops. We have to change the color. There we go. Now Cat can jump. And go left and right. talking to me. Um, at least now Cat can move back and forth and jump. Now, this wouldn't be a platformer game without some obstacles. So let's add an obstacle. I'm going to make this double spike here. I think that spike's a bit big for Cat to jump over though, so I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. That's better. Now there's an obstacle. Let's move it over here. Let's add a collectible as well. Like, um, like a coin. Yeah, a coin sounds great. Make a circle. Fill it with yellow. 
now we got a golden coin. What? Let's make it a bit smaller. Okay, so now we touched this up here. And triple message, I guess. And when I receive the purple message, go back to the start. Go home. All right, our game is done. You can see the collectible. Awesome. Um. Oh, uh, this hot block isn't gonna work, guys. I'm gonna have to make him go up and down. Press four. Let's see. There we go, that will work nice. It should work just fine. The wind touched block or start on bump block makes the game lag quite a bit. And as far as I know, there's no way to fix it, so please don't ask about it in the comments. Because I honestly have no idea. Oh my gosh, that is very laggy. Um, but I'm not gonna fix that jump. You guys can do it if you want. You know what else you can do if you want? You can add a main menu. A victory screen, an extra level, more collectibles, moving enemies, more level layouts that aren't just a flat piece of ground. But those are just suggestions that would make your game way better. This is just the basics. I'm not going to do another tutorial telling you how to add all that extra stuff. Because I'm lazy. Well, I guess that's the end of the video now. Bye!